Okay, team, next video, we're talking about Algebra 1 again, multiplying and dividing fractions this time. We did adding fractions in our last video, right? And when we added two fractions together, we had to have common denominators. And when we added those two together, the denominator didn't change. So 4 sevenths plus 3 sevenths was, right, there's a 7 on the bottom, and then 4 plus 3, there's a 7 on the top. Now that actually turns into 1 there, doesn't it? 7 over 7. But the denominator doesn't change. Well, that's different when you're multiplying fractions together, okay? When you're multiplying fractions together, the thing that's different is the bottom is multiplied together and the top is multiplied together, okay? So this does not stay over 7, okay? So this turns into 4 times 3 is 12, and 7 times 7 is 49, okay? So those two things do not stay the same when you're multiplying fractions together, okay? Let's try that one, and let's see if we can do this one, okay? Now, when you're multiplying fractions together, another thing that you can look for is cr what we call cross-multiplying, okay? Or, or, I'm sorry, dividing. So in this particular case here, I want to do something different. Negative 18 over 4 is just the same as negative 1 times 18 over 4, and then multiplying that by 4 over 18, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is going to, what's going to happen here is there's a couple things going to happen here. This one's going to reduce to just 1, but you can think of it this way. This 4 will cancel out with that 4. It's just like saying... You could put this all together. Matter of fact, you could do it like this. You could get rid of these parentheses. Let me just rewrite that, okay? You could rewrite it like this. 4 times 18, and then on the top is 18 times 4, okay? You could put them all together as one big line. Now, that 4 divides into that 4, right? You can think of it, the fraction means that, I can, that this number is divided by that number, okay? So the 4 divided by 4 turns into 1, and then 18 over 18 turns into 1. And so then 1 times negative 1 is just negative 1. Okay? And let's talk about one more thing, that you, one more trick that you need to know. When you divide by a fraction, okay? So dividing by a fraction... is equal to multiplying, multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, and what is a reciprocal? What in the world does that mean? Okay, if I have nine over eight, its reciprocal is eight over nine, okay? It's just the fraction flipped. All right? That's all the reciprocal means. So what this says is that instead of dividing, I can multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, And also, a minus divided by a minus turns into a what? Plus, right? So the, I can get rid of the signs altogether right away. So 3 divided by 9 over 8 is the same as 3 times 8 over 9. Okay. Now, another way to write this is this. 3 divided by 1 times 8 over 9. Because what is 3 divided by 1? How many times 1 go into 3? It's still 3, isn't it? That's still 3. But now I can multiply the top and the bottom together, okay? And what do I get? I get 24 divided by 9. Will that reduce? Will that reduce? Hmm... Let's see, and here, here's a trick. Remember, if you take any number like 24, if you add the two numbers together and, they, and that gives you a number that's divisible by like three, so two plus four is, th is six. Is six divisible by three? Yeah, okay. So then divide each one of those by three. Well, nine divided by three is three, and 24 divided by three is, let's see, uh, eight, isn't it? Okay, and so that, equates to a positive eight-thirds, doesn't it? Okay, 
So that when you're multiplying and dividing by fractions, just remember when you divide by a fraction, multiplying by the reciprocal, the multiplying by the reciprocal is uh, the same as dividing by a fraction. And then you multiply the tops together and the bottoms together um, to get your result. Okay, easy enough. Next.